Hey guys, Big Z here, and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to do something a little bit different, and again as requested by you guys, I get most of my video suggestions from the comments, so if you want to see a video, um, write a comment below, I write everything um, down that I want to do guys, so um, I really appreciate all the ideas, but I'm going to show you guys my complete PS1 collection. Now this year in particular I've really gone hard on my PS1 collection. Um, it's getting to a point that I'm really happy with. Excuse me. I've probably got about 30 or 40 games left in a list which I will talk about in this video as well. Um, but yeah without further ado I'm going to show you guys the games. Uh, so my entire PS1 collection is black label, it's almost all complete, uh, I believe there's about 5 games that are incomplete, however I do intend to find complete versions eventually. Uh, so the first game here is Adidas Power Soccer 98. You guys may have seen a video early in the year where I picked up 150 PS1 games and absolutely insane pickup. I'll leave a link to that video in the um, comments below. If you haven't seen that one guys, uh, sorry in the description below. Um, but yeah, out of that pick up I added almost 50 games to my PS1 collection. Uh, so it's certainly grown in size this year. Here we have an Australian exclusive, it's AFL 99. Uh, there's some common games in here, there's some rarer games and there's just some like games from my childhood. Um, I grew up with the PS1, it was my first system I owned as a kid. It was pretty special to me. Um, I've obviously tried to get every game I used to own as a kid, as well as, you know, if I own one game in a, in a series, I tried to get the um, entire franchise. Uh, here we have Alone in the Dark, the new Nightmare. Uh, this one is an uh, Costa Rambo Smash Court Tennis. If I see it, Black Label Complete PS1 game under $10, I pick it up these days, guys. Regardless of the title if I don't own it. Here we have Apocalypse, starring Bruce Willis. Uh, this one is Army Men Omega Soldier. Big Bass Fishing. Now one of the more pricier games for the PS1, here we have Blazing Dragons. At least in my collection anyway. Um, here we have Bratz. Chill. Now I made a big decision this year to sell my PlayStation 1 Platinum games, including games I had as a child. Um, I don't like Platinum games, so I decided to get them all out of my collection. Probably about 40, 30 to 40 games total. Uh, I've almost re bought all of those games back. There are a few I don't have. Spyro Trilogy, probably the three that come to mind. Uh, here we have Cool Borders 2. Oh, yeah. I thought they didn't have a cover, but it does. It's just pushed down. And Cool Borders 4. So I do want to get 1 and 3. I do like to complete subsets like that. Um, but I don't want to pay more than, say, $10 or $15. Uh, here we have Colin McCraig's Rally. Now, here's a game that I played when I was a kid with my dad and my brother. Here's a series I've almost completed, I'm just missing the first one, and then we'll have a complete black label set. Uh, so that is of course the Crash Bandicoot series. I absolutely love this series, I grew up with it as a kid. I replayed it on PS4 when it came out, and I'm pretty happy to have almost completed this set guys. So here we have Crash Bandicoot 2, The Wrap of Cortex. All these games are complete and black label as stated. Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. Crash Bash.
and Crash Team Racing. Here we have Croc, Legends of Gobbos. And Croc 2. Yeah, I'm just going to put these away and grab the next pile, guys. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit longer than usual just because they are PS1 games. I really want to be delicate with them. Alright, so there's probably going to be nine different piles, so moving on to pile number two. This is Siberia. See? Cyber Tiger. Now here we have a horror title, this is D. Disney Dinosaurs This is Disney's Aladdin's Nasara's Revenge Here we have Disney's Pixar's Monsters Inc. Scare Island Driver And the sequel, Driver 2. The Dukes of Hazard, Race to Sing for Home. Euro 2000. Here we have Evil Dead, Hail to the King. Now uh, this has got two discs. Formula One, 1999. Michael Schumacher on the cover. Formula GP. Formula One. F1 Racing Championship Formula 197 Fade to Black FIFA 99 B for 2001. Now, now this next series is one that I'm about halfway through. There's a few more games to pick up. Uh, it's certainly a series that I discovered after the PS1. I discovered Kingdom Hearts. And then once I got to the PS3, I discovered Final Fantasy. Uh, so the first one I've got is Final Fantasy 7. Of course, it's a black label copy. It did take me a while to find, guys. I didn't get this until this year. Um, I believe if you watched the first Garage Sale video, that's where I picked up that Final Fantasy 7. Just gonna put this pile away and grab another one, guys. Won't be too long.
Uh, if you don't see any games in this video, guys, and if they're not on my list, I'll read it out at the end. Feel free to throw a suggestion at me. Um, I'm mainly going for games that I played or I'm familiar with the series. I'm not really interested in rare games unless I can find them for a good price. Now, there are some JRPGs that I want that are just astronomically expensive, so I'm probably not going to go for them unless I get them for a decent price. Um, but if there's any games that you love that I've missed, definitely throw them out there guys, let me know. There's a lot of collectors out there that watch these videos, so I really appreciate hearing from you guys. So moving on, we have Final Fantasy VIII. I just recently picked up Final Fantasy VIII um, Remastered, so I'm looking forward to giving this game a go on the PS4. After eight, of course, is Final Fantasy IX. I've heard amazing things about this one. Uh, so I'm missing six Origins, Chronicles, and the Anthology, so... Um, future I hope to pick up those four games, but for now I've got these ones. Here we have Fisherman's Bait 3. This is Freestyle Motocross, McGrath vs Pastrana. Future Racer. Here we have G Police. A uh, series that I'm really excited for the new one that's coming out maybe next year. And that is, of course, Gran Turismo. And this is the first one. Uh, we had the second one released on PS1 as well. Another series that started on the PS1, guys. I'm uh, missing a few versions of this, but I do have one amazing one. That is Grand Theft Auto. So here we have Grand Theft Auto 2. And probably the highlight of my PS1 collection. We have the Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition. This comes with a beautiful slipcover. Features Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto London 1969. And Grand Theft Auto 2. Uh, this was my friend Kevin's childhood copy. Uh, it's from his collection to mine. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to own this one and have a part of Kevin's collection over here. Uh, probably the, the second or even equal the most expensive game on the PS1 um, that I own. And that is Grandia. Amazing JRPG. I'll be honest, I haven't played this one. I have got the sequel as well. Uh, so I'm looking to play those games one day. Here we have Hardcore 4x4. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Another pretty pricey title. This one is Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. Heard really good things about this one, and it was in that lot that I picked up earlier this year. I didn't know anything about it, so I was a nice surprise to hear it was expensive. Jeremy's McGrath, Supercross 98. Jandalomi Rugby. Uh, Jupiter Strike. Just gonna grab another pile, guys. It won't be too long. Appreciate your patience. Here we have Lego Racers. Uh, 
The Lost World Jurassic Park. Like I say, I pick up any complete PS1 game. Uh, so we have Mary Kate and Ashley Crash Course. The Magical Mystery Mall. And we have Winner's Circle. Uh, here we have MDK. Uh, one of my favorite series, and that is Metal Gear Solid. Oh. Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. Medal of Honor. A game that I loved when I was a kid, playing with my brother and my dad, and that is Murder Racer. This one brings back a lot of nostalgia. As well as Murder Racer 2. Here we have Muppets Race Mania. Namco Museum Volume 2. NASCAR 2000. NBA Live 98. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3. This one is Newman's Hass Racing. Ninja, Shadow of Darkness. And another series, this is actually the first game that I played on PS1, or not this one in particular, but um, the next one you're going to see, Abe's Odyssey. Uh, but this one is Oddworld's Abe's Exodus. Uh, you're gonna have to wait for the next part. <laughs> Be right back. I said this is the first game I own, but I don't even think I own the game. I think it was just the demo that came with the PS1 that we bought. But I do have fond memories of playing this day one of the PS1, and that was Oddworld's Abe's Odyssey. Here we have Pandemonium. And Pandemonium 2. Pipe Mania 3D. Point Blank 2. Rage Racer. Railway Tycoon 2. Rally Cross 2 Rayman 2 The Great Escape Lots of sequels Here we have RC Revenge Rebel Assault 2 The Hidden Empire Of course that's Star Wars and now moving on to the Resident Evil games, I'm missing one um, Resident Evil PS2 game. So we have Resident Evil, the first one. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now uh, there might be another spin-off title I'm missing too. I'm missing this is, uh, Resident Evil 2. 
And I've got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Here we have Ridge Racer Type 4. Shadow Man. Chain Worn Cricket 99. Old Warning. Shrek. Treasure Hunt. Good old catchy sticker on the front. Sled Storm. Just gonna grab the next pile, guys. We've got two more to go. Spec Ops Covert Assault. Spec Ops Stealth Patrol. Sport Car GT. Now, say I don't collect Platinums, I do let these like value series slip for my PS1 collection. But if you're watching this from America or the UK it doesn't really apply for you, but um, in Australia, I know a lot of other places, PS1 games are very hard to find. Um, I can go weeks without seeing any PS1 games in the wild. I know when I went to America, they were everywhere. I know UK collectors find them a lot, but um, yeah, as it goes, PS1 games, complete black label in the wild are pretty hard to come by, guys. Um, I don't like buying everything online. I'd rather pick something up in, locally in the wild. Now here we have Steel Regions, this is my latest PS1 pickup, 995 the other day. Street Fighter Collection 2. Superstar Dance, number one hits. Tekken. I don't own Tekken 2 or 3 yet. Uh, 3 I basically grew up with so I really need to get a copy but I'm looking to get them for a reasonable price which isn't the easiest thing to do. Tenchu 2. Uh, here is my original childhood copy of one of my favourite games. That is Theme Park World. Got a very big manual, I'm just going to show you guys quickly. Remember as a kid thinking, wow that manual is huge, but today it's like, oh my god, look at it. Book! It's got a spine, guys. You know, and your manual's got a spine, things are serious. Time Crisis? And Time Crisis Project Titan. Total, total number one. Here we have Toka 2 Touring Cars. Tomb Raider 2. Double O Seven Tomorrow Never Dies. Another series that I'm missing a couple of games too, and that is one and two. Um, but I've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Three, and probably the best in the series, and my favourite, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. These games are so good, guys. I'd love to see a three and four remaster, even individually. I'd buy them. Here we have Total Driven. Total NBA 97. 
Another game I grew up with as a kid. And that was V Rally. I didn't necessarily play the best games, I played the games I owned and I didn't own that many. Just gonna grab the final pile for you guys. Vanishing point. A lot of racing games in here, guys. There was a lot of racing games on the PS1. Uh, here we have Wild Nine. Wing Commander 4. World Destruction League War Jets. World's Scariest Police Chases. The World Is Not Enough, 007. Uh, one of my favorites, guys, and um, I was able to sell my Platinum and grab a Black Label copy this year. And that is, of course, the first Worms. I love this one. I used to play Couch Co-op with seven other friends. Was so much fun. Here we have Worms World Party. WWE Smackdown 2. And finally I collect the double packs as well. Uh, now two of these were actually my childhood copies which are pretty cool. Uh, so this one was Motor Racer 2 and Need for Speed Porsche 2000. I've got very fond memories of Porsche 2000 with my brother and my dad. Uh, amazing Need for Speed game. I don't own the actual game by itself yet, so I'll pick that one up in the future. This is the Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six and Rainbow Six Rogue Spear Double Pack. And the final one, which is my childhood copy, is the 007 Mario Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough Double Pack. So that concludes my PS1 collection guys, there's 126 games in there. Um, the value is just over $4,000 if you're interested. Uh, that's going off recent eBay sales, uh, so take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I'm just going to get up a list of PS1 games that I'm actually going for. Uh, just so you guys can make a picture of the type of PS1 collection I'm trying to build. Uh, it's not the biggest list, so this won't take too long. Uh, so I'd like to get 007 Racing, I also own that as a child. Uh, so anything I owned when I was a kid, I'm basically looking at getting, and then series that I have still play today. Uh, so Colin McRae Rally 2, I didn't play that when I was a child, but I do have the first one, so I like to finish that series. Obviously Crash Bandicoot 1, um, Chrono Trigger, uh, going with Final Fantasy, I heard amazing things about it and I'd love to get a copy, it's very expensive. Is one of the few games I would be willing to pay a lot more for though. We've got Disney's Tarzan. I didn't own that as a child and I loved it, so I'd like to get a copy. As I've previously mentioned, Final Fantasy VI, Origins, Anthology, and Chronicles. Sorry, not Origins, Tactics. Um, Grand Theft Auto 1. Uh, Hercules, and I want to own when I was a kid. And. International Superstar Soccer 3, probably the best soccer game me and my brother ever played. Thousands of hours into that one, no, I'd, I'd say hundreds and hundreds, but it's probably into the thousands, the amount we played it. Uh, I'd like to get Medieval 1 and 2, I love those games. Um, as I mentioned before, Porsche 2000, uh, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil Survival was the one I was missing. Road Rash and Road Rash 3D. Love to get a copy of Silent Hill. That's another pretty expensive one. I've got Spyro 1, 2 and 3 on the list. Um, you're going to have to pay for all of them. I'm hoping to get them all under $50, complete black label. Tekken 2 and 3. 
theme park hospital. Now, I mentioned these ones before. We've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Now here we have a terrible game, Truck Racing. Why would you want Truck Racing, you might be asking Figsy. Because I owned it when I was a kid, so I want to have even the bad games. Another game series I had as a kid, it's Visual and 8 Second Offense, so I want to get those two games. And the final one on my list is Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Uh, I've heard great things about that one, I want to exp experience it for myself. Uh, so that's my collection as well as the games I want to add to it. If there's anything you're going, Figsy, you didn't say this, you didn't say my favourite game, throw it in the comments guys, let me know, what am I missing? I'll check it out, I'll research a game if I don't know nothing about it, and if it seems cool I'll try and pick it up. You guys might see it in the future, so that would be really awesome. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, we're almost at 1800 subs, guys. Don't forget to like the video, say something in the comments. Uh, become a lot more active in my Discord channel, guys. So if you want to join the Discord, there will be a link below. I've been posting every single game I've picked up in the Discord, so if you don't want to miss anything, be sure to jump in there. Yeah, I've been Figsy, you guys have been awesome. This is a pretty fun video to make. I've got a lot of cool videos coming up guys, so um, stay tuned, and I'll see you later. Peace.